The city government has a duty to provide a livable living environment for its residents. And this includes addressing climate change impact by making efforts to reduce cities' carbon emissions. Cities globally have done so by putting in place commitments and resources in establishing climate action plan and delivering actions in transportation strategies, building codes, promoting clean energy, and many, many more. So ladies and gentlemen, cities across the globe are taking bold actions. So is Jakarta. Jakarta commits to be a climate resilient city. And at the moment, Jakarta is moving from car-oriented development to transit-oriented development. And Jakarta is leading in, in sustainable transportation and mobility transportation and we would like to continue even further. Good evening, good morning everyone. The Honorable UN Secretary General, Mr. Antonio Guterres, fellow governors and mayors, ladies and gentlemen. The city government has a duty to provide a livable living environment for its residents. And this includes addressing climate change impact by making efforts to reduce cities' carbon emissions. Cities globally have done so by putting in place commitments and resources in establishing climate action plan and delivering actions in transportation strategies, building codes, promoting green energy, and many, many more. So ladies and gentlemen, cities across the globe are taking bold actions. So is Jakarta. Jakarta commits to be a climate resilient city. And at the moment, Jakarta is moving from car-oriented development to transit-oriented development. And Jakarta is leading in, tra in sustainable transportation and mobility transportation. And we would like to continue even further. So in this occasion, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to propose the assistance that cities needs from the UN. The UN may have a big role for supporting cities across the globe. First of all, the UN could encourage countries to acknowledge the achievements of climate actions at the city level and that need to be calculated as part of national determined contributions of climate actions. Secondly, within the United Nations capacity, the organizations could plan ahead to foster vertical and horizontal integrations at actions and at policy levels. Lastly, toward the COP26, the United States, the United Nations could also support countries to develop comprehensive architecture and financing structure to translate the benefits that are obtained by national government in the global forum to be executed at the local level. Uh, with your suggestions, we'll do our best with our agencies and country teams to fully should be our own governments. Thank you very much. Very appreciate it. As we do, you've already influenced the United Nations uh, with two minutes. Imagine <laughs> if you had four minutes. Thank you.